How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be talking about this upcoming roster update and my predictions with how some of these players are going to get upgraded. So let's go ahead and hide the face cam. We'll get right into the video. So really quickly, just a few things I wanted to talk about when I'm talking about the roster update. The very first one is going to take place on the 31st. So in the next couple of days, we are going to see a brand new update in the game. Now I don't know exactly what that's going to consist of, but I can talk a little bit about what I can speculate and talk a little bit about how I think the developers are gonna go a little bit about this decision. I'm also just going over my team a little bit. I wanted to show you all my stub count, the, the players that I'm using on my main ranked season squad. Some of these guys I haven't tried out yet. Some of these guys I'm looking to make debut videos on and everything. I'm still working on uh, everything with my teaching job. So that's why I haven't been live the last couple of days. I appreciate everybody understanding that I do have a lot going on as well. But anyway, to get a little bit more back on track with this roster update video, uh, the very first few roster updates that we've had so far have mainly focused on getting some of the new players on the right teams. Uh, some free agents were signed and they kind of moved some guys around in that way. A couple brand new players were added uh, about a week and a half ago or so. And those players were mainly commons, mainly bronze cards, brand new players that have uh, been added to teams or signed with teams as of recently. So this is kind of what we're looking at. As you can see, the roster update on the 31st. We'll go ahead and get into this Diamond Dynasty mode, and this is where the roster update will take place. You'll go into this, you'll click on this roster update, and as we can see, we can take a look at some of the position changes from some of these other players. Uh, some guys got upgraded, some guys got downgraded, depending on their position, even though their attributes did not really change all that much. Some of them uh, didn't change at all, honestly. So with that being said, I think that this is something to keep in mind. Now that we've covered a couple things I wanted to bring up, like the team, the stub count, all of that good stuff, I am in a pretty good position to invest in this upcoming roster update. But one thing I want you to also keep in mind is that they haven't really played that many games during the major league season. There's only about five or six games played for some of the teams. So with all that information out there, I don't really think that too many players are going to get upgraded or downgraded. I think that if they were on the cusp of, you know, four or five games, if they did well for the next couple of games, then they probably would have started out at a gold or a diamond uh, at the beginning of the year. So I want you to keep in mind with that. Another thing to keep in mind is that they do take a three-year average. So it's not just from this year. A lot of people are asking me, do I think Giancarlo Stanton is going to get upgraded? I included him in a previous video, talked about how he would be a good investment because he really only needs a little bit of a boost to contact versus right in order to get to 85. But inside edge is a pretty good thing to go off of here. I mean, he needs plus 13 against lefties in order to go up to 85. So I'm curious, is it even possible if he gets a plus five or plus six upgrade to right-handed pitching Will he go diamond? I don't know. I don't think he's going to go diamond this very first update. I think that uh, he's pretty close. He could have you know a couple good months and he'll be diamond. But I don't think they're going to make really any gold cards diamond this very first update. Um, right now, Stanton's going for 5,000 stubs. I would sell all of my Giancarlo Stantons right now. That's the price he would probably be at if he did go diamond anyway. You're not really taking much of a risk selling now. Um, DJ LeMahieu is another one. Uh, once again, he's at an 84 overall, one point away from an 85, which would make him a diamond. I don't think he's going to get there anytime soon, though, because he needs a boost to contact or power against righties. I think he will also have to have, you know, a few more games under his belt before he gets updated this year anyway. I could be wrong on this. Keep that in mind as well. I don't know everything about these roster updates, but I know that I have never really invested my stubs into these updates because it's kind of unpredictable. I would honestly sell most of these gold cards, if not all these gold cards on this page right now because of this recent stub sale, because they're kind of inflated. I'm looking at this and I see Shane Bieber is another potential card to get updated or upgraded. I think that uh, he could get an increase to his hits per nine and that would make him a diamond. How, how much he would need to get upgraded, I don't know that. So 
I don't think he's going to go diamond this update, even though he pitched an absolute gem a couple days ago. Um, I know that he's a very good pitcher. You know, he won the, what was it, the All-Star Game MVP award. So I think that another pitcher to keep in mind is Zach Granke um, because he could get an increase to his K per nine or even his hits per nine. The other attributes are good enough for him to be a diamond. I mean, he gets up to an 88 with inside edge, and I think that's only... Uh, about a plus 11 or plus 12 to hits and K per nine on this card. So the thing that I want you to keep in mind is that certain attributes make a difference depending on the position as well. So a player like Stanton or a player like a second baseman, um, they might they would require different attributes to get upgraded in overall in a different way. Chris Bryant is a good card to look at. He's a great example of a player that could eventually go diamond. He would only need a plus four to contact and power against right to get up to an 85. This would be a card that I'm looking to invest in, but not right now. I mean, I don't think he's gonna get upgraded for after this very first week and a half of the season. But a little bit later on, uh, after a few roster updates, I definitely think Chris Bryant will be at that diamond threshold. So now might be a good time to maybe purchase a few, but it's hard to say because his price might go up or down depending on if he does get upgraded or if he doesn't get upgraded. These prices for these live series cards are always gonna be fluctuating. So personally, I'm not gonna invest in any cards this time around. I just kinda wanted to get my opinion out there as well. But Ozzy Albies is another one. If he does really well against righties over the next couple of weeks, then I think that he could get upgraded a little bit. I don't know how much he would need in order to get up to a diamond level. So far, all we've talked about are gold cards. I think David Fletcher is a really good silver candidate to end up going gold. And I think that this card could go gold this update. But I would still not invest in this card because he's selling for a thousand stubs already on the market. I mean, that's the price of a gold card. And honestly, that's the price of a lot of these silver cards on the market. A lot of them are closer to a thousand. I would just sell all these. I would try to... Uh, get as much value guaranteed try and sell off of the hype of the roster update coming out but that's just my opinion i don't think that a lot of these players are going to get upgraded at the beginning of the video i talked about how those guys are uh, kind of focused on changing positions or adding new players in i think we're going to see more of that this first roster update even though some players will get added attributes a few you know tweaks and adjustments to their player card or to their player ratings but i don't think they're going to necessarily um, upgrade any cards in tiers this time around maybe david fletcher maybe a couple golds later on but for the most part i think the golds where they're at right now is kind of where they're going to stay at and, and now we'll kind of get into a couple examples of some cards that i think could potentially go diamond or might be good enough to be diamonds but the way they're kind of set up i don't think it's going to happen for example jeff mcneil he's a he's a high contact hitter he's got mid mid power 85 vision his fielding and his speed are probably the lowest things on his card and those things are kind of the least likely to get upgraded on some of these players same type of thing here with josh donaldson he's playing up to an 85 but it would need you know a plus 12 in one of these hitting categories to get him up to a diamond now josh donaldson is probably not going to be a diamond the entire year but this is just an example of what a player like this an 82 and 83 overall would need at different positions in order to get those upgrades every player is going to be different based on their build so right here blake snell is a power pitcher i mean his lowest attributes are his walks per nine and his control unless this guy just doesn't walk anyone this year then those attributes are less likely to go up than the hits in K per nine would be to go up. And I don't know, his stamina is not as high. Will he reach an 85 overall this year? Maybe, but I think it would be a little bit tougher for Snell. Anyway, George Springer is a card that I actually think could end up getting downgraded eventually. He's got off to a rough start. I don't think he's going to get downgraded this very first update because they probably wouldn't have made him a diamond if he was you know, a few games and a rough start away from going back down to a gold. I, I don't know though, this is all speculation. Let me know what you guys think about your roster update predictions and I guess we'll have to wait a couple days to find out. I mean, I've been on a roll with predicting some of these headliner cards, 
but some of my other predictions have not been as much on point or haven't been as accurate. So thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.